typically the people who, who are interested in buying our cars have an eye on both the beauty and quality and uh, enjoyment that they can get from a classic car. I suppose like, like, like any artifact or piece of art, uh, and I don't know that a car is always a piece of art, but there's an artistic element to it. It's a part of our history and it's a part of somebody, the person who designed it and the person who made it. You know, we, we are keeping something alive. The first thing that we would look at is to try and understand if the effort we're about to put in is worthwhile. So the first thing is we try and start with the good body. After that is the interior, because many of the interior parts can't be remade. The documentation and making sure that it's original, that it's matching numbers. The mechanical side of things, we can, for the most part, come up with solutions. When we bring a car back to bare metal, we even retrace the exact brush strokes and order in which everything was done. The 280SL made a, a fantastic candidate for, for restoration. It had reached a stage in its life where it was getting tired, the owner was no longer enjoying it. It was important for us that it was a very good car to start off and also that it had a full documentation set and this car had a particularly strong service record, original factory data cards, all the manuals. So the restoration process involved, uh, it was a full nut and bolt restoration. Uh, we stripped the car right back to a shell, to, to the steelwork, removed all the paint, all the glues and sound insulation. We only had to carry out a small amount of bodywork because the car was in very good condition. We put two new wings on it with slight rust at the front wheel arches and then we painted the car uh, and set about a full interior refit. We always feel that we have to go as far back as possible in terms of stripping the car back to every last piece. You only really get that fantastic effect when every last small little piece is done perfectly. So we did, we did a really great show. We really got some fantastic compliments and the thing that was great for us was from people in the trade because to get the acknowledgement of your peers is, is, is the ultimate accolade. We managed to attract the attention of the head of the Mercedes Classic Centre in Germany and they were very impressed by what we'd achieved and it's, you know, it was great for us to make contacts like that. The car brands generally are supporting the market very well at the moment. Uh, we work a lot with Mercedes. The fantastic thing there is that many of the parts are available. It is as close as you can possibly get to a brand new Pagoda. It's probably better than it would have left the factory just because of the, the finish that's, that's applied. We replaced any part that was in any way compromised. The silliest example is that the button on the top of the handbrake uh, was replaced new from Mercedes because there was a scratch on the old button on the top of the handbrake. All the actual steels have been regalvanized, full engine rebuild, new pistons, new bearings. The print on the seats is done on the same machine that it was done in, in the 1960s. I think 25 years ago it was it was very much a case of just putting, you know, painting things and putting them back together. Whereas now there's actually an art in how you restore a specific material or metal to bring it back to its original condition. The real quality in restoration is going to come out of dedicated houses like ours where that, that, that are absolutely passionate about the, the subject matter.